In this next video, I will show you how to link an actual website or a domain directly here into Google Sites. So it's going to be really easily. The first thing I want to do is to go directly here into Google Sites by heading over here into the upper side of the sites.google.com. Now we can select the site you want to add to a custom domain or create a new one if you're starting from scratch. So once you have clicked, for example, here into blank site, you should see that we can start with some template galleries and generate your own website. So let's go back here and check out how many websites you have available. For example, as you can see, we have this one. I'm going to click on it. And this is the part where you can start customizing your website. So once you have here into the upper side, it says settings. Here, I'm going to focus into the top right element called Uno. We can scroll down and select this element that says custom to domain. So into the custom domain, we can see that here is a connected domain already been added. So I'm going to click here into this domain and I'm going to paste it into a new tab. I want you to see if this domain is not working. So as you can see, it's exactly the same domain that I'm using here into Google Sites and this domain of gold.cfd is working. So to do this process, once again, I'm going to go here into settings, custom domains and add an actual domain. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using another website so you can see how we can do this totally from scratch. So let's select your website. Once again, go for settings, custom domains, and start the setup. Now here's going to be asking you to enter your domain, www.usually, and your domain.com. So for this, you might need to purchase a domain in order to continue. I'm going to be using namecheap.com. Namecheap is going to be a really easy way to download and purchase um, domains in a very easy way. For example, this one is uh, for Techspress. So we're going to be typing here the name of the domain that we'd like to purchase. For example, Code & Co. Go for search. And we can see that we have a lot of elements that we can use and download. Depending on what is the actual amount of money would you like to pay for it, you can just select to add it to the cart. This one costs $2. This one is $7. 1,000 for example, then once you choose one that you like the most, go for a checkout and make the purchase. Now I'm going to go directly into my domain list that we can see that here is my domain already been downloaded. So let's click into one domain and click into managed. Into managed, you can focus into advanced TNS so we can start making this process in a very easy way. So for this process, I'm going to look out here once again for the URL. I copy the URL and I paste it directly here inside this element. Now let's go for next. And here it says connect to the third party domain register. So in a separate tab, sign into my domain register where I was used it here. It says go to my DNS settings. We are inside DNS settings. Then create a new CNAME entry. So let's go here. It says add new record. Let's look out for CNAME record. And now it says under the CNAME values, enter triple W. Here it is, the host. And the CNAME destination, enter this amount. So I'm going to copy it, including the period at the end. And I'm going to be pasting this into the target. I make sure that the dot is here. And I go for save the changes. Now make sure that there's no other CNAME record here into your domain because it just won't work. So I'm going to delete the previous one that we have here. So I delete it, I delete it, and there we go. And I'm going to be deleting this once again. Now I can go back here, save the changes, come back to this tab and click into done. So once I have now saved the changes, I can go back into Google Sites and here my domain has now been successfully connected. Now, sometimes this won't work uh, right away because it might be taking a few minutes for making the connection. And of course, it might be taking up to 48 hours for making the verification of your proxy and the firewall. But if you have this element that says connect domain and this one is now enabled, when you download here and just copy and paste the URL, it must be now appearing here into the upper side and your website is now ready to set things up. So once the domain is now fully propagated, we can test out by entering this custom URL, the browser, check out the Google Sites, should be live with your custom domains, and there you have it. That is how, guys, we can actually have it. A Google Site is now connected to the custom domain. This is going to be helping really, really a lot, guys, for a professional and memorable web address.
If you have any question, if you think this one actually didn't work for a few hours, then make sure that you have entered the right information. And once again, that there's no more types of elements to add it here. For example, you can delete your A records, you can delete different C names and much more. So delete them and just focus into the C name that was asked by Google Sites. And there you go, guys. So thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully this was very useful for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to check out more tutorials here in TechPress. Thank you once again and see you next time.